So how are we going to show this mathematically, that when we doubled the chlorine, we ended up doubling the rate? So what we're going to do is compare experiment 2 versus experiment 1. When we compare experiment 2 to experiment 1, we're going to take uh, the concentration of our chlorine in trial number two, divide it by the concentration of our chlorine in trial one, and we're gonna raise that to x, our order, our exponent that we're trying to solve for. That's gonna be equal to the rate for experiment two, divided by the rate for experiment one. Now it's just a matter of plugging in some numbers into that equation and solving for our order, x. So when we start to plug this in mathematically, we said we were going to take the concentration of our chlorine in trial two and divide that by the concentration of our chlorine in trial one. Raise that to our order with respect to chlorine that we're trying to solve for, we don't know. And then that's equal to the rate in experiment two over the rate in experiment one If we simplify that a little bit, 0.5 over 0.25, that's 2 to the x power. And then 2.86 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 1.43 times 10 to the negative 6 is also 2. So if we have to solve for x, 2 to what power equals 2? Well, x is going to equal 1. In other words, the rate's directly proportional to the chlorine concentration. When the concentration doubles, the rate doubles. So that would mean that it's first order in chlorine, or first order with respect to chlorine. What if we did another trial? So our concentration in experiment one is exactly the same as experiment one from before. But now we have experiment three. This time we're keeping chlorine the same, but we're doubling our nitrogen monoxide. Well, if you look and compare the rates, we have to figure out how many times bigger the rate is in experiment three versus experiment one. When we double the NO concentration, we end up quadrupling the rate. So how do we show that mathematically? Well, this time we're comparing experiment three to experiment one. We're going to take the concentration of our nitrogen monoxide in experiment three over its concentration in experiment one. We're going to raise that to some mystery exponent, the order. Why? 